Here is a Pioneer Fire TV. I'm going to show you how to wipe the cache partition. Wiping the cache partition only deletes temporary files that you really don't need anyway. And wiping the cache partition can solve a lot of issues. Maybe you have issues with the audio, maybe it's echoing, maybe you have uh, picture quality issues, maybe uh, the TV's laggy or opening apps is taking forever to buffer and so on. Anyway, very easy to wipe the cache partition here. Now we're not going to use the, uh, we don't need the remote, but the first thing we need to do is look for your power button, okay? Now on my Pioneer Fire TV, it's on the left hand side, and you can see the power button right there, okay? If yours is not here on the left side, you may want to look up here. Also look underneath here somewhere in the middle, or it could be on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and wipe the cache partition, okay? So first thing is this, what we want to do is unplug the TV. I'm going to pull the plug just like that. Now, that power button that's over here, I'm going to press and hold it. Okay, I'm holding it. As I'm holding it, I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to continue to hold this power button. I'm not going to let go until I see the Fire TV logo appear. Okay, that takes about typically 10 seconds. I'm still holding onto the power button. There's the uh, Fire TV logo. Now I can let go of this button and just wait, and this will boot up into the uh, Android recovery menu. All right, so now this is the uh, Android recovery menu here. Now what we gotta do is we gotta move down where it says white cache partition, okay? Now what you do is uh, go back to the power button, wherever your power button is located. Again, mine is on the bottom left-hand side here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it, tap it, tap it, and then we're gonna go down here where it says white cache partition. Now to select it, I'm gonna press and hold that power button until this blue changes color, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, here's the button here, ready, set, go, press and hold. It changes color, now let go, okay? Now we're on the here. Uh, once this is done, it cannot be undone, okay, fine. Now I'm gonna go down to yes. So I'm gonna click the button, power button once, go down to yes, and now I'm gonna click and hold, and just wait till it changes color and let go, and there we go. Now, so that's already done. Now it goes back up here, uh, uh, reboot system now is what we want now, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. So I'm gonna press and hold the power button, Change its color, let go, and just let it boot up normally. And give it a second here to load back up. And there we go. So we're done wiping the cache partition. If you wipe the cache partition and it helped you with a particular issue, make sure you comment below so that others can see what the uh, wiping the cache partition resolved for you. Okay, good luck, guys.